Hello, it's Jackie Green from GA Interior Solutions, where we are helping build a stronger design community through professional training and educational resources. Today, I have a quick tutorial on the large tool set in SketchUp Pro. Each modeler works slightly different, and I love keyboard shortcuts. But not all the tools and functions have a shortcut, and I find the large tool set to have many of the tools I need without cluttering my toolbar. In this video, you will be introduced to the large tool set and learn how to turn it on and off in your SketchUp model. Now let's get started. The large tool set is located along the left side of the model space. Unlike other tools, there is only one way to add the large tool set. To add it, you can right click on your toolbar and select large tool set. If you want to remove it, then you can right click on the toolbar and deselect it. In the large tool set, you will see many tools that are available in the toolbar. I find its location more useful than the top navigation. In the first area, you will find the select tool, eraser, and bucket. You will also find a button called component, which can be used to create a component. It also grays out when you select a component. I use it to see if I have created a component or a group. Let me show you. If I click the window, notice it's grayed out, which indicates these windows are components. Whereas if I select the house, it is not grayed out, which indicates the house is a group. The next section below includes all the draw tools you can access without using the drop down menu in the toolbar. Below, you will find the move, push, pull, rotate, scale, offset, and one tool that isn't available above, which is the Follow Me tool. The Follow Me tool is an awesome tool for creating baseboards, window frames, and custom furniture. Underneath that area, you will find measuring tools, dimensioning, and text. Next, you will find navigation tools. Below that is the camera tools, and then the extension and 3D warehouse at the bottom. Once you've added the large tool set, it will remain open when you open SketchUp the next time. We cover many of these tools in the SketchUp for Beginners online course, as well as through our free SketchUp tips and tutorial library, which you can sign up for free at www.gainteriorsolutions.com SketchUp. This now concludes this video on the large tool set in SketchUp Pro. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share it with others. We add new videos every week.